This is it. We're about to board the ferry from Sicily, Palermo, actually, literally 10 minutes away from where our apartment was, to Livorno in the north of Italy. We decided to do this just to mix up the trip and cut out a huge chunk of the journey. So, it is two, and I was impressed by this, £230 for a 21-hour ferry. That includes the car and the trailer, and it also includes a cabin for the night. So I thought that was extremely good. We're going to leave at 6.30 on Sunday evening, on Thursday evening, I should say, leaving at 6.30, and we'll get in at 2.30 on Friday afternoon. So it's roughly 20 hours. We've then got a four and a half hour drive over to Cannes in France and we'll be a big chunk of our way over to the, I was about to say Valencia, but we decided on Barcelona in the end. So we should have in total around about two or three days travel to get there, but so excited. It's the first time I've slept on a ferry for a long time and Monica has <laughs> never done an overnighter. Yes, I'm very excited. Actually, no, you did Tenerife, but we didn't get a cabin yeah. because cabins to Tenerife, just to give you some, relativity cabins to Tenerife for 300 pounds for 39 hour ferry i think this it's not more than that uh, 300 pounds for the ferry and on top you have to pay 350 pounds for yeah. the actual ferry mm -hmm. this is 230 for everything so very excited i'll give you i think it's worth it i'll give you a little tour and show you the setup here because it's to be fair it's a decently run setup here you can see there the sun, it is still baking hot. 27th of October and it's 28 degrees. This is the ship we're going to be getting and we'll spend the next 20 hours or so on. You can see Monica there, excited as ever. And it's filling up pretty quickly. In fact, we're almost at the back of the queue. Interestingly, see if I can zoom in there. No, I can't. But interestingly, that is a kind of customs check. So even though it's a national trip, we did actually have to show our passports to get in. Lovely Harley over there, lots of camper vans, things like that. And of course, everything set up, bike on the trailer, everything solid as a rock. checked in and I'll show you a room for the next 22 and a half hours. Room 5118, it is technically actually a four berth, so you can sleep four, but for us, I think I'll just leave those folded up because this is exclusively for Monica and I for the whole trip. Two single beds, little table in the middle, power sockets, everything you need. We've set up, I don't know what the food situation will be like on the ferry, so we've bought enough for everything. It's really hit and miss on ferries. Sometimes you can be surprised and it's silver service, and sometimes the ferry, well, the ferry food can be atrocious. So we've, we've kind of hedged our bets with that. You've got a nice little bathroom area with exactly everything you need and nothing more. It's very, very good, and the luxury of having your own space is is fantastic. Two cupboards, one for myself and exactly the same there for Monica. But that's it. That's what you get for around about 80 euros for this 21, 22 hour crossing. Right, Monica's waited outside long enough. I'll go and grab her and we're going to go and have a look at this ferry. I can't wait. I think I got a glimpse that there may be some silver service restaurants. You know, 
I think I've been used to getting the Dover to Calais ferries and also the Spain to Tenerife ferry and you know that is not a luxury service, it's a stripped back to basic service. I think this may be very, very different. <music> Five to eleven, we're about to go and grab a coffee. We had the most amazing night's sleep. I think about ten hours sleep. The difference having a cabin makes. You can wake up feeling fresh as a daisy. But before our coffee, I just had to show you this because it's it's a genuinely interesting sail because you hug the west coast of Italy for large chunks of it. So we've got the west coast of Italy here with a few old a few old islands, a few tiny islands like this, and then. Come on to this side. Careful you don't trip over that, Monica. Yeah. We're actually on the helipad here, on the top of the ship. I'll be honest, I couldn't figure it out. It's not Corsica, it's not Sardinia. This is another of the Itali Italian islands that we're just going past. So we're, we're sandwiched in between the Italian island here and mainland Italy there. To give you some uh, perspectives, uh, Siena. Siena is just over there in the distance, but what's this island? Mm. Someone let me know. I, I did a Google map search, but the Wi-Fi, it does work, but I just pathetically couldn't figure it out. But look at the color of the sea as well. It's a glorious sailing, this. Should we go and grab a coffee? Yes, let's, let's go. go. I should say, on this ship, Slightly unlike the ship we took to Tenerife, I would strongly recommend getting a cabin because, funnily enough, interior space on this ship is seriously lacking. So if you just sleep, for example, on the chairs like a lot of people do, there's very, very little space to get to yourself, whereas Tenerife's got an abundance of space. I'll do a walk around in a second. This is tiny inside. Have a listen to how good value it is, so. Because bear in mind we had a trailer and that makes it infinitely more expensive. But this is seriously good value for what is about a 21 hour sailing. For each adult, no vehicle at all, just adult, it's 26 euros. So if you come by foot, it's just 26 euros each. On top of that, the cabin that we got is 80 euros, which I think is fantastic value. You've then got the car. Bear in mind, if you just go with a car, no trailer, a car is just 30 euros. So if you come by car and two people, it's 30 euros plus 26 euros per person. The trailer is the big expense. The trailer is 74 euros. So this is a seriously viable way to travel, whether you're on a car or if you want to get down to Sicily for a motorbiking adventure, you can ride down to Northern Italy, grab the ferry to Livorno, and it's probably only going to cost you about under 50 euros mm -hmm. to get this ferry. So it makes it a really viable way to get down into southern Italy slash Sicily. And it's a fantastic way to travel. Plus, being Italy, the food was brilliant yesterday. <laughs> Superb selection. It all tasted genuinely fresh. It's really, really high quality food on this ferry. Outdoor space as well is in abundance. And you can see why. 
constantly things to look at around you. It's, it's really a beautiful way to travel. Here we go, full tour of the ferry. Just leaving the cabin rooms now. I think someone's actually said we're getting into Livorno any minute. Can't believe how quickly time's flown. So, you've got the canteen area here. Through here. All of the seating area, man playing the saxophone, and he's been playing for a big chunk of the trip. Coming through here, you've got the entrance of the canteen, and this is the kind of silver service area that you have to prepay for. Beautiful space. So you can see uh, a few people actually have their bags, and they're ready to, to actually get off the ferry, so I have to be quite quick come out here and show you what this is like. You can see how close we actually are to getting in. Got all of the oil tankers just waiting there. And that, that will be Livorno in the distance. So I would say within an hour, we'll actually get in. Okay, I'm going to go this way now because I'll go back up to, in fact, this is where the back deck is, but I'll go the other way to show what the front deck looks like. Right, these should take me to up the stairs to where the swimming pool area is, although I'll be completely honest, the pool was never filled, so it's just got some netting over the top. Then you've got the seating area here closed off pool area also a closed off bar area here but a nice outside space completely sheltered by from the wind by the glass windows up here to the top you can see some more cabins through there And up here to the top of the ship. And the port town of Livorno. If you're considering coming on this ferry, I highly recommend book probably two weeks in advance because initially we were going to be or I was going to book a week and a half in advance. Plenty of rooms, plenty, two berth, four berth, and also some of the deluxe suites. And then I thought, oh, it's fine, I'll leave in an extra couple of days. I ended up booking two days in advance. And, uh, sorry, I ended up booking one week in advance as opposed to one and a half weeks in advance. And all that was left were four berth rooms, no two berth rooms available. Yes, yes. Sorry, just carrying on after that Tanoi announcement. So, book soon, in essence, because even booking a week in advance, it means even then you're going to be pushing it to be able to get any kind of room at all. So, I would suggest book at least two weeks in advance if you want to get a room, and I definitely highly suggest getting a room. For one, it's more comfortable, and secondly, it's such good value on this ship. It's, it's fairly close fairly close to a no-brainer on this one at about 80 euros I'd say because you'd pay that anyway for an apartment if you're doing a road trip too. And then coming back down the stairs to the last bit of the ferry that I haven't shown. We've got a little arcade area here. Coming through there that's the front of the ship and this is where you'd be if you don't get a room. So to be fair they do have a decently large area you just take your pick from one of these seats and they've got tvs there and another room in there with all of the seats just facing well really just one tiny tv it's probably comfortable enough though
from the outskirts of Cannes. Oh, it's a stunning day, bird singing. Let me show you, show you what we got for the night. So, quick overview. Yesterday we drove 250 miles after getting into the port of Livorno after a 22-hour ferry ride. We left at Thursday at about 4 p.m. or so. It's now Saturday at 10.30. This is 47 pounds a night. I think it's superb value. Lovely little hotel with some of genuinely some of the friendliest staff I've, I've ever seen. They're a lovely bunch here. In fact, everyone here in the south of France, I may have been shouted at viciously in the north of France, <laughs> but here in the south of France, it's very different. Everyone's extremely nice. Your, your shirt is matching the interior. <laughs> On purpose, of course. <laughs> On purpose. Lovely little space, though. Mm -hmm. Very, very nice. Bar from Little Fridge area at Monaco. I'll let you show there. Mm -hmm. And then... Then we'll go back out to the balcony because, or the terrace. It's a lovely little spot here. I mean, it's the same, isn't it? When you come out of season to places, everything's so much cheaper and you don't need to worry about the weather. The forecast is 29 degrees for later on today. It's just about one of my favorite places in the world here. As you're going along the coast, you get to Monton, Monaco, Nice, Cannes, Saint-Tropez, just, oh, it's just such an amazingly stunning part of the world here along the French Riviera. Really, really beautiful. You can just get a glimpse there of the houses dotted around the place. A swimming pool there and a whole load of little, what do you call them, little gîte type mm -hmm. places just along there with beautiful blue shutters. Plan for today, 400 miles. Google Maps says seven hours all the way to the outskirts. We're staying just on the outskirts of Barcelona. If we can get there by nine o'clock, I think that would be pretty good going. Okay, journey update. We are two and a half hours away from our destination on the outskirts of Barcelona, and that is 180 miles away. Final fill up, and then I think we should be there by about seven o'clock. The French service stations, they just seem to be getting better and better over the years. The amount of investment they put in, you know, completely free Wi-Fi where you don't have to sign in or log in or put your email into these weird websites. It's just you walk in, free Wi-Fi everywhere, really nice places, a lot of Starbucks on the way, so we're <laughs> sorted. The amount of Europeans out for, well, very belated summer holidays, there are so many different nationalities along this French Riviera. I've seen Lithuanians, Poles, Portuguese, uh, a lot of Dutch, Austrians. Everyone's out and about in this part of Europe right now seems to be the place to be for good value European holidays, I think, at this point. 
We've also just agreed, I didn't realise there wasn't parking for our property and you know we're going to get there, we don't know if we're going to be on a busy main road and nowhere to put the trailer so just agreed 120 euros for parking underground in our block for the month which I think is decent. They were saying 160 initially, <laughs> Monica did a bit of haggling down to 100, they didn't agree on 100 so 120 <laughs> it is. I think that's fair enough so at least when we get there we can just drive straight into the underground parking. Right, two and a half hours left. I mean, just a little update on everything. Bike is still perfect. Uh, there's no good content with the Fiat. <laughs> Too reliable. It's just so reliable. We, like, no hiccups, no issues at all. We pulled in, actually, just to a little lay-by to take off the seat because it was weirdly, weirdly jiggling around and just mm -hmm. making me a bit uneasy. But the Southern French are absolutely lovely and a guy in a van pulled over and said you need a hand. Lovely bunch down here in France. So that's all now nicely secure. It hasn't moved around at all. No tightening at all needed. The ratchet straps, everything spot on. I took out breakdown cover for the Fiat. I think I spent £220 on that for Euro breakdown cover. Complete waste of money. It's too early Furious too at myself early for doing say. it. Just £220 down the toilet. <laughs> We've entered Spain, pulled into just about the first service station that we could just to have our final break. We're an hour and a quarter away from our destination and I suddenly had a, a nervous twitch when I came into this service station. And that's because this exact spot right here is about four months ago where I was robbed by the gentleman in the lovely Mercedes. I was on the Bonneville, parked it there when I was doing my Barcelona trip with the Bonneville. Parked the Bonneville there. I noticed the gentleman over there in the Mercedes come over and say, do I have a spare pound because everyone in the car had lost their credit cards. I went to the loo in, in here and stupidly left my bag on the bike and of course my laptop was robbed. God, it's a small world. Can't believe we actually stopped at the exact same service station. But I've learned many things since then. I hope anyway. Last down a quarter, we're going to pop in now. Maybe just grab a quick bite to eat, but we're making brilliant time. I hope actually that the that the person letting the the Airbnb out to us will be there because I think we're about four hours ahead of schedule. This time we ended up just way, way over allocating time and we've made some pretty good time. So fingers crossed, fingers crossed someone will be there to meet us. And also it's nice to be in Spain because the French motorways are incredible, but the tolls do start getting expensive. Same with Italy as well. I think we had one toll in Italy, it was 50 pounds. So Spain is noticeably cheaper to be in, which is quite a nice break. Que a ti te pienso tanto, no creo que solo sea amor. Por ti he vivido hoy el mundo y la mitad de mi corazón. Baby, tú y yo queriéndonos, sintiéndonos. Hazme el amor, y el que tanto dice tenerme. Hazme el amor, pa' que matemos la curiosidad. Well, we made it. It is 10 past nine on Saturday evening. We left, of course, at around about four o'clock on Thursday. So that's about two and a half days total. 
We did, of course, Sicily to Livorno by ferry, and then about 750 miles total, everything perfect. We didn't even really need to tighten the ratchet straps, the Fiat perfect. Oh, but it felt like such an adventure with that ferry journey over. Overnighting on a ferry was magical, and then going through all of the French Riviera, seeing you know, Ducati 916s whizzing past on Monaco plates huge swarms of Indian motorcycle riders that we just missed filming, just whizzing along the motorway, pulling into the service station. There's nothing like a Euro trip. So many different cultures that you get to experience just going from country to country. It's fantastic. So we're here now. We'll do a proper full tour of the apartments in the next video. We just need to unpack and things like that. But we're here now in Barcelona for one month and it feels just brilliant to be back so thank you all so much for coming along it's been oh, it's been just a magical journey thank you all have a brilliant well have a brilliant day evening and we'll speak to you all in the next one